Hello and welcome! My name is Waldo, and in this video, I'm going to try to fix the brakes on this backhoe. Afterwards, there's not really anything stopping me, so I'll probably try to move some dirt with it. In one of my recent videos, I drove this machine for the first time, and I found out the hard way that the brakes don't work. Things got a little bit out of control while going down a hill, but luckily there was no damage. Let's see if we can diagnose what's wrong with the brakes. Through the hole in the floor, we can conveniently see how part of the brake system works. That is the master cylinder right there. You can see the brake pedal here actuates the master cylinder. When pressing the brake pedal, it feels like the only resistance is actually coming from that spring there. It doesn't actually feel like there's any resistance from the master cylinder itself. It almost feels like a clutch pedal that just goes all the way to the floor. From underneath the machine, you can see the master cylinder has two brake lines coming out of it. One of the brake lines comes out, and if you follow it along, it goes to this sort of diverter valve right here, which sends the braking force to each one of the wheels. And there's actually a selector lever in the cab that allows you to choose to send the braking force to only one of the wheels rather than both. And then from here, you can see that brake line comes out of here, goes over here, down here, and to the wheel. And there's a bleeder screw right there, right above where the line goes in. So it's a pretty simple brake system. There is a second brake line right here, and it goes to this compensating valve. So right here is the master cylinder fluid reservoir. Let me just remove this cap. And if you look inside, it's completely dry. There's no brake fluid in there at all. That's not too surprising because uh, based on the way it feels, uh, it does feel like, I mean, there's, there's no resistance, like I said, other than that spring right there. I'll proceed under the assumption that the brake fluid leaked out at some point. I did visually inspect the brake system and I didn't see any obvious issues. So I'll fill up the reservoir and bleed the brake system and we'll see if it leaks. Uh, if I get lucky, maybe it'll just work. So I attempted to bleed the brakes, but the brake pedal didn't really seem to do anything. After, I noticed this leak coming from the master cylinder. So let's get this thing removed so I can replace it. All right, so I just got this new brake master cylinder. It cost a bit over $300 shipped. Installing it should be fairly simple. I just have to bolt it on, connect a couple brake lines, and then bleed the brakes. Let's get to it. All right, go ahead and press and hold. And release. And press and hold. And release. 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 Press. 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 And press. Oh yeah. Ah, there we go. And release. And press. And release. Press. Release. Press. Release. 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 Release.
Press. All right, and release. Cool. I'm gonna. We're gonna go switch to the other wheel now, and uh, hopefully this one is bled. We didn't get any bubbles on that last one. Uh, go ahead and press. Oh, that's nasty. All right, and uh, release. And press. Uh, hold on a sec. Keep, keep pressing. And press. All right, it looks pretty good. Uh, go ahead and release. Next, we're going to bleed this compensator valve. All right. Go ahead and press. Release. Press and release. All right, that's probably good enough. All right, well, let's start this thing up and give it a try, see if the brakes work.
Well, of course the battery died while I was filming, but let me show you the bucket in action. It looks like the bucket tilt cylinders might actually be a little bit weak, but we'll see how they do when I use the machine. All right, so one of the main reasons why I bought this machine was because my property is very rocky and I have lots of rocks I'd like to move. So I'm gonna play around with it for a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can remove uh, maybe a rock or two from my lawn, because I'm sick of having to go around them with my lawn mower.
If you're still watching, thank you for tolerating my clumsiness as I learn how to use a backhoe. As it turns out, this rock was a bit larger than I expected. I was able to move it a little bit with the bucket, but I'm going to have to learn how to deal with these because I'm sure I have many more like it on the property. One thing I might try is digging a deep hole next to the rock and then pushing the rock into the hole so that it'll be below ground once I cover everything up. I'll probably try to get some practice before I film my next earth moving video, but stay tuned because there's a lot coming up. My main project right now is swapping the Cummins engine into my GMC truck. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you for watching.